what is up guys Phoenix here and welcome back to another pixel art tutorial so today we're gonna be starting Sarada Uchiha which I did the time-lapse a while ago Sarada is a character from the Boruto series which is a spin-off of the, uh, the the ending of Naruto I believe um, so Sarada is Sasuke and Sakura's daughter and she's one of the cooler characters on the show so I decided to build her um, we're gonna be doing the frame so you guys already know what it is if you're new here we're gonna need about 175 width to 175 height in blocks make sure you have a pixel art world which is like a flat world only as you can see I'm very close to bedrock already so that way you can have as much space as possible um, I am on the Xbox 360 and that should stop people from going in the comments and saying they ran out of space on mobile or something like that but um yeah let's just jump right into it so first off we're gonna be using blocks of coal and grass blocks to start off the build so far and what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna start on the left side of the build and we're gonna place three blocks going straight up one two three from there what we're gonna do is use the grass blocks so that we can build a diagonal so we're gonna put this at the top or left side of the final block we build so that we can go up into the left five vertical one Oops, one, two, three, four, five. And that's something you're gonna hear me say a lot. I'm gonna be either saying up and to the left, up and to the right, down and to the right, or down and to the left. Because as you can see, pixel arts aren't built by touching directly. We have a lot of angular work here where the blocks connect at this angle right here, but don't actually touch. So this is up and to the left, as you can see. So as you can tell from the word up and to the left, that means you put your placement block to the top or the left and that should help you connect. So next we're gonna go up and to the left, nine vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now for the veterans out there, I know you guys are tired of me explaining, but each time I forget to do this at the start of a tutorial, people get upset. So I make sure to always try to explain things just so that the people who are new can kind of feel um, on the same page. Now we're gonna switch direction. So take out your placement block again, and we're gonna go up and to the right. So putting our placement block up or to the right as you can see right there four vertical one two three four then we put our placement block on the top again so we can go up and to the right two vertical one two up and to the right three vertical one two three up and to the right two vertical again one, two. And then from there, we're gonna start leveling out. We're basically building the shoulder right now. So we're gonna go up and to the right, five singles. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we're gonna flatten things out in the shoulder before bringing it back down to the ground. So we're gonna go up and to the right from here, three flat. One, two, three. Up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up and to the right, six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at any point, if you feel confused or whatnot, just make sure to look over at the right-hand camera screen. It's a good indicator of if you're doing things correctly or not, or if you have the right general shape. Anyways, from there, we're going to be going down into the right with our blocks. So we're going to go underneath or to the right as we go down to our eight flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from that eight flat, what I want you to do now is we're going to count from the right side. We're going to find the second and third block. So the second and third block right here. And what I want you to do is put one block of coal below each of those. Now from those blocks of coal, what we're going to do is we're gonna go down and to the right from the right block. So you see we have these two right here. We're gonna find the right one and we're gonna go down into the right from it. So put your placement block underneath it to the right side, nine singles. And this is just basically all diagonals, but they're just one at a time. So one, two, as you can see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we zoom out, you can see that by the singles, well, that's what I meant, it just goes down at that angle. There's, they're all connected at the diagonal, but they're not anything more than just one block. And once we do that now, we're gonna get ready to stretch to the ground by going down into the right two vertical, two times in a row. So place a block underneath or to the right side. 
one, two. Let's do it again. One, two. We're then gonna go down into the right one single, down into the right two vertical, down into the right three vertical, one, two, three. And then to finish this up, we're gonna go down into the right two vertical, one, two. And then finally down into the right 12 vertical. And now this should just connect to the ground, but I like to keep the numbers consistent. So let's just try counting it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect so um that's the left shoulder done i'm gonna move the cameraman on the right screen over as soon as we need more space as you can tell he's not he, like there's a lot of it already in the frame and the pixel art goes over a lot more so we're gonna need a lot more room so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna come back up the shoulder right here to where we had this eight flat that we connected to the bottom to and what I want you to do is go to the final block now, so this one, not the second and third block, the final block. And we're going to go up and to the right from it. So put your placement block to the right or top side. And let's delete these placement blocks. 21 vertical. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Perfect. Now from that 21 vertical, we're gonna go to the bottom of it and count two up. So one, two, and we're gonna add nine blocks to the right of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have that nine flat, we're gonna go to the end of it and we're gonna go down into the right. So place one block right or bottom, four flat, two times in a row. So we're gonna place one, two, three, four. And we're gonna quickly transition just by putting the blocks there so we can do it again. One, two, three, four. And then you can delete those blocks to clean up the space. Now finally on this segment, all we're gonna do is go down into the right one single from the end right here. And we're done with that little patch right there. So we can go all the way back to the extended 21 vertical we have. See the big strip of 21. And we'll go to the top. There is another spot around the midpoint here that's actually for their her hair. But when we do the face in part two, we'll probably cover that. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Usually I mark those things and then mark them with dirt so you guys know where we're coming back to. But I'm not going to touch that yet. So let's go all the way to the top and we're going to go up and to the right. So put your placement blocks there. One single. Up and to the right. 11 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 and this is getting ready to connect to the lower part of her jaw all i usually like to do for the first part of a tutorial is i like to just cover the initial parts that touch the ground and then in the next part i finish the frame third part i usually do the detail and, and i'm done or fourth part i do detail and done so um, we're going to try and get this to reach the ground before ending for today and let's just work on the lower parts of her jaw so after that 11 flat, we're gonna go to the end right there and we're gonna go down into the right from there, three flat, one, two, three. And for this next part, we're gonna be either going down into the right or up into the right. So I suggest just putting your grass block to the right each time and you should be good to go. So from here, we're gonna go down into the right, five flat, one, two, three, four, five. And then you just put your placement block at the end and you should be good to go. From that five flat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the second to last and the last block. From the second to last block, we're gonna put one on top. And from the last block, we're gonna put one below. Now from that one below, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into the right, two flat, one, two. Down into the right, four single, one, two, three, four. Down to right, two flat. And this is gonna get quite repetitive, so even if you hear something that I've already said, make sure that you're placing it and then moving on to the next part. Um, down to the right, two singles now. One, two. Down to the right, two flat again. One, two. Down to the right, one single this time. Down to the right, two flat, and we're gonna do this actually 
one, two, three, four, five, six times in a row. So make sure you count that carefully. So we have our placement block to the right side and we're gonna put two blocks flat like that. And we're gonna do that six times. So this is already the first one. So just place our placement block again. Let's do one, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. One, two, that's four. One, two, that's five. And finally, one, two, that's six. Good job. Let's go back now and delete those dirt blocks. And if you know what the thumbnail looks like, you can tell we're almost done with the jaw. But right now, um, we have to bring it back up and we should be good to go. So from the last set of two flat we have right here, we're gonna go to the right block in it, this one right here. And directly below it, we're gonna add five pieces of coal going straight down. One, two, three, four, five. From that five strip we just created, from the first block, so this one, remember that we added five to the bottom, so the first block isn't this one, the first block is this one. So from the first block, we're gonna add three pieces of coal to the right. One, two, three. And kind of just look at what I just did so you can not mess that up. It's literally one below the two flat we just placed, and it's connected to the single right there. So we have three going to the right. And we're actually gonna leave those markers on the other four blocks because that's the zipper of the jacket and we're not doing that yet. I just wanna go do the other shoulder. So we're gonna go to the three flat we have over here and continue with that. So let's put our placement block to the end on the right side right here so that we can go down into the right. Three flat, one, two, oops, one, two, three. Then let's go up into the right, two flat, one, two. As you can see, even if we're going back up, I'm still putting the placement block on the right side and helps us move a lot faster. So from there, we're gonna go up into the right, three flat again, one, two, three. Up into the right, two flat, two times in a row. One, whoops, one, two, one, two. And now that we have that going for us, what we're gonna do is go to the second set of two flat, the one that's higher up. And I'm gonna add four to the bottom of the right block. So find the right block right here and let's put four blocks going straight down. One, two, three, four. And now we're getting ready to bring this shoulder back down to the ground and then we should be good to go. And I know this this tutorial is probably gonna go a lot longer than I want it to go because um, the facial detail on her is pretty, pretty intricate. And I don't think I have the energy to talk that much for each part, so it's probably gonna be a longer tutorial. Um, pro probably not time-wise, because I've had tutorials that have had 45 minute parts, but I think it'll be a longer one with more parts. So anyways, from there, we're gonna go to the bottom now, so put your placement block underneath, and we're gonna go down into the left for vertical. One, two, three, four. Place block underneath again. Down into left three vertical. One, two, three. Down to left five vertical. Actually, is this five or six? Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six vertical. That would have been a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let me actually correct that for myself so that way I don't make, make that mistake ever again, even though I'm never gonna do this tutorial again. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, there we go and from there we're going to be going to the right side now so put your placement block to the right side each time now and you should be fine so we're going to go down into the right one single down into the right three flat one two three down to the right two flat one two and you can see it's a lot more better with the workflow as long as you just place the placement block and then delete the old one down into the right one single down to the right 10 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now let's bring this to the ground. And this should be very easy to do. We have like what? Uh, I think it's only like 10 above the ground, yeah. So we're gonna go down to the right six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to the right three flat. One, two, three. Down to the right two flat, two times in a row. One, two. One, two. Down to the right, five singles. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna vertical these things out by going down into the right, two vertical. Down into the right, one single. And then down into the right, two vertical, three times in a row. One, two, that's one. Put your placement block down. One, two, that's two. Place the placement block again. 
one, two, that's three. And as you can see, it touched the ground perfectly. So this was a flawless tutorial part. Usually I have mistakes that I need to edit in, but everything touched down on the ground when it was supposed to, so that's very good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the tutorial part for the, this today right here, and we're going to do a part two following this up. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this, and sorry if there's any background noise. I kind of hear some stuff out there. I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not, but I still figure to apologize for it rather than pretend it's not there. Um, I will have the part two coming soon. I'm probably going to not upload this until I have every part done, so that way there's no waiting. Uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy. This is Phoenix, and as always, I will see you guys later. Bye.